Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. In the four and a half years I've been using Linux, I've never used an email app. What I mean is, is that uh, when I want to log into my email, I go into my web browser, which happens to be Firefox, and I log into my email that way and just work off the cloud. And actually, before I switched to Linux four and a half years ago, my last few years in Windows, I was doing it that way as well, through the web browser, logging into my email accounts on, well, in the cloud. And way back when, when I was using Windows, I used to use Outlook. And when I started with a different uh, internet uh, service, I couldn't figure out how to get Outlook to sign in to my uh, email account. And I had to call a tech service, and he walked me through it over the phone. You know, there was POP3 and all this other stuff I couldn't figure out. So I just found it easier just to use the web browser to log in. You know, you put your email address, your password, and you get in. Now, I had the same problem at work. Now, at work, we're using uh, Windows 10. And our email addresses are uh, Gmail accounts. But we use Outlook. And... Not so long ago, actually it was this year, my work wanted to give me some extra email addresses, some different Gmail addresses. So we tried hooking it up to uh, Outlook and I couldn't figure out how to do it. Again, with the POP3 and all this other stuff and it wasn't working. Finally, we had to get uh, our tech guy in and he took him a while to get it working too. And of course, I'm going to explain this all a little bit later in the video. <laughs> So last week, I started using an email client in Linux. And it's kind of surprising because my first experience on Linux was Linux Mint. And Linux Mint comes with an email client already programmed into it or an email app. But I didn't use it. Last week, I started using Thunderbird in my Arch Linux system. So I have Thunderbird installed in my Arch Linux system, it was easy to use, easy to get it hooked up, easy to get it connected to my emails, and I love it, and it's fantastic. So today, we're going to talk about Thunderbird. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm in a virtual machine of Arch Linux with the Qtile window manager. And of course, the mouse doesn't work, so everything is keyboard driven. So I'm going to hold down the uh, super key or the Windows key or the mod key, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to type in sudo pacman s thunderbird. I'm going to put my password in. And we're going to install it. And it installs really fast. That's it. It's installed. So now. What I'm going to do is refresh my uh, Q tile. So I'm going to hold down the mod key and the P, and I'm going to type in Thunderbird and hit enter. So you're going to put your uh, name in here, your email address, your password. This button will become active. You're going to continue, and it's going to hook you up to your emails. Now, I did this in my real bare metal computer, and it worked perfectly. Now I did it with two email addresses, so you can have more than one email address in there. I did it with two, and I did it with an email address from my internet provider, and I also did it with a Gmail address. It was easy peasy. Once you have it all set up, you can change, your, uh, change it from a dark theme to a light theme. If you don't like the dark theme, you can click on here, go into settings, Go into add-ons and themes, and you could click on, right now it has system theme, so my system is on dark theme, but you could change it to uh, light theme, like that, or you could change it to uh, dark theme, like that. And, and it opens up in tabs, and in case this theme thing looks familiar, the reason why is, Thunderbird is made by Mozilla, which is the same company that makes Firefox. So I'm just going to close my tabs, and everything opens up in tabs, just like Firefox. 
So this is the page that's going to come to you. You're going to put your information in and hook up your email. Now what I'm going to do is go to my bare metal computer and I'm just going to click on another workspace. Now on my bare metal computer, I'm in Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. And I'm just going to open up PC Man FM. And I have a picture here. Let's just open it up. Let's make it full screen. I started using Thunderbird on my bare metal computer on the weekend. And I don't want to show you my uh, real email addresses or my personal information or emails. So what I did was I took a screenshot of my emails. I put the screenshot into uh, GIMP and I used GIMP to erase all the emails that we're showing here to erase how many emails I have in my uh, inbox. So in my Thunderbird in my bare metal computer, I have two emails hooked up uh, from two different providers. So I have the first email is my email address for my internet provider. And my second email is a Gmail account. And they both hooked up easy and they worked fine. So what I did was I took a screenshot of my email, I put it into GIMP, and I wiped out all my emails, erased them, and I put erased how many are in my inbox. I erased the name of this email address and the name of this email address, and I typed in this, person at email.com, person at greatmail.com. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It's really easy to use, and it reminds me of Outlook but a more basic and simple version of Outlook. And it's easy to hook up. And you can add more uh, things here. So right now, I like it like this. I have from, subject, and received. And the dates would be down here, but you can add more. There's a whole list of things that you can add up here, which enable you to sort from it. And that's it. In this video, I talked about how I had trouble hooking up my Outlook when I used to use Windows at home many years ago, and how recently I had trouble hooking up Outlook to new email addresses at work. And I talked about how for many years at home, I just logged into my email through Firefox or through whatever web browser I happened to be using at the time. And I mentioned how even though I've been using uh, Linux for over four and a half years, in Linux, I never used an email application, even though there are several available in Linux. And many of the modern Linux are easy to use Linux distributions like Linux Mint, MX Linux, Antex Linux, Manjaro. They come installed with email clients or email apps, but I never used them. And how just recently I started using Thunderbird, which is made by Mozilla, the same company that makes. Firefox. I think Thunderbird is a great email app, and I think perhaps you should give it a try. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.